may have been hearing a lot about special drying rights or SDRs lately. They've been a hot topic this year because they can be a critical tool in helping low-income countries pay for the health response and deal with the economic fallout from the COVID-19 crisis. In many high-income countries, governments have poured lots of money in, trillions of dollars, into supporting the economic response to the crisis. But low-income countries don't have the reserves that they need to be able to do so. And that's where SDRs come in. So what are SDRs? SDRs are an international reserve asset held by the IMF, the International Monetary Fund, that can be used to respond to global economic crises. Technically, the value of an SDR is determined based on the value of a group of currencies at a specific point in time. But you don't really need to understand how that's calculated to understand how they work or why they're important. How many SDRs a country gets, if there's a new issuance, is based on their size in the relative global economy. So a larger country is gonna get a larger share of SDRs. And SDRs are a tool that have been used only very rarely, but most recently in 2009 to respond to the global economic crisis. The IMF board has to approve each new issuance of SDRs, but once it does, countries get them almost immediately and can convert them into currency and use them to bolster their reserves or pay for critical needs. A number of African leaders are calling for a new issuance now specifically to support vaccination efforts. SDRs have also been discussed as a potential source of funding for climate adaptation and mitigation in low-income countries. Because G20 countries control most of the vote at the IMF, all eyes are on them to see if they'll support a new SDR issuance and how big it might be. The consensus at the moment seems to be at around an issuance of about $650 billion worth of SDRs, though advocates are pushing for much more, up to $3 trillion worth of SDRs. Now, a new issuance of SDRs below about 477 billion SDRs would be below what is called quota, and that is an easier amount for the G20 and the IMF board to approve because it doesn't require sign-off from the US Congress. Now, beyond just a new issuance, countries and advocates are pushing for a better system for wealthier countries to transfer their SDRs to low-income countries. This is seen as a key component for the Biden administration's support around a new issuance. Now, it's likely that those mechanisms would take place through the IMF, and there are existing trust funds that could be used, though they'll likely require some tweaks. Now, how quickly could we see a new issuance of SDRs? The earliest the IMF could approve a new issuance is in August, in part because any new issuance requires a 90-day congressional notification process in the U.S. The IMF may, however, make a statement at its spring meeting in April indicating its support. Once issued, though, countries will be able to access the crucial liquidity tool essentially immediately. I'll be tracking all of this for DevEx, so stay tuned for more.